All right. It's been a minute. But here we are. The Corolla, this is Clancy's Corolla. GR, of course. Um, so this video is really just going to be about all the uh, ex exterior. Well, I'll just go over all of the things I've done to the car. Um, damn. <laughs> I all right, there we go. All right. Whoa. Stay. There we go. Hi, and uh, my name's Clancy, and this is my 2023 Corolla GR Circuit Edition. Yeah, um, I'm one of the lucky few who got, or 1500 that got the uh, the circuit. Um, so the purpose of this video is to show you all the things, all the modifications that I've done to the car, uh, most of which. Well, pretty much all of them uh, so far have been just the aesthetics of the how the car looks. Um, so I'm going to get behind the camera and I'm going to show you everything about what's going on here. So, all right. Let's start with the headlights. I've actually added a black uh, decal here to cover up the uh, the orange uh, indicator lights which gives the front you know that really nice uh, I got some harsh shadows going on here aggressive you know better contrast here with the uh, with that decal it is a quote-unquote transparent decal that's supposed to let the light through um, not so sure on that. It's just a simple mod. Going to, uh, to the wheel spacers. So now we have wheels that come out about flush with the fenders, which for a much makes for a much better stance. We have the. This is a sequential turn signal. This is a single lower piece ver variation, which is nice. Uh, and I've also done the I've also done the folding mirror mod so that when I lock the car, we got folding mirrors. You no, know, same thing. If I unlock the car, we also have a um, a, uh, a shade here or a cover. Uh, this, uh, th th that piece just adheres in on the frame here. Let's see. We have... We've added the GR4 inlay, vinyl inlay here. Again, spacers in the back. Get away from these shadows. Alright. I've done vinyl transparent overlays for the taillights to make them red so this this piece here and this piece here cherry red so it gives the back I'm, I'm aiming to have more red in the back uh, here's another mod these uh, these reflectors have been changed out for LEDs which uh, act double act as running lights and brake lights, so they get brighter when they when you brake. I think the car looks really freaking good. Um, let me know what you, what else you guys want to see. Uh, I also have some. I'm gonna get order some uh, mud flaps for the back, and I think I'm gonna do probably keep them black because the GR is red and the calipers are red. So if you have black right there, 
I know it's in the back. We could, well, I could put red in the back and have black in the front. Or do like cross, uh, you know. I, I, but I also like the symmetry, so I, I probably won't cross. I'll probably just do either black in the back, red in the front, or red in the back, I mean, and then black in the front. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I guess I should show you this. Hold on. So, there's more. Wait, but wait, there's more. So, oh, I got all this stuff back here. But you may be able to see it. I got a full size spare in the uh, modified cargo area and I don't lose my cargo space at all. The car just weighs more, which if I lose a mile per gallon, then whatever, I don't care. I'd rather have a spare tire, a full size, no, uh, <laughs> a full size spare uh, that, and so that the ride height is the same and I can go further on it or whatever. So there's a shot from the back of the back side of the car, the way that looks. I've done uh, a clear coat on the, the carbon fiber roof. Okay, let's see how that looks. I'm not, I won't see, I don't know how that looks on camera, but uh, yeah, it's a little dirty. The car's not super, super clean. Uh, moving back around, actually, I missed one thing. So these uh, these are sun shades or rain guards. Um, these are well visors, uh, and I had them paint matched gloss black to match the rest of the uh, the gloss black trim on the vehicle. Take that in for a minute. What else have we done? I think that's it for the outside. Okay. So here's the volume knob I was I was talking about. That's from the Rav 4. Um, this camera won't focus. Uh, it's fixed focus. Um, minimum focus is too far away to get close. Okay. But it's, uh, it, it has the, uh, whatever, it's the, the diffuser inside, this little center, it has, a, it has a center ring. You can't tell, the camera may not pick it up. So it, like the default knob, it actually transmits the light through the center piece. So at night you can easily see it. Um, I can't say I, I've grabbed it one time and accidentally pressed it. This knob is, what it, you really need this knob to be able to turn this, radio up and down uh with ease and you know just every time it just it's great it works one of the best mods i've done oh the horn i changed the horn so this is how the, my horn sounds this is the uh well i have a video on the on the horn but it's much better it's uh, it's more um author it has more authority uh, behind it and those deeper tones it's the bass horn forget who it's by, uh, but it's a dual horn or a dual snail horn. A lot of people want it with the hello horns. What the hell were y'all thinking? <laughs> okay, my opinion on the hello horn is that it sounds like shiitake mushrooms, like bad. It's too, it's too much, it's too obnoxious. And, a, and because it, they, it, most people bought it because it's red and it looks cool in the grill. Mine is in the stock location where you don't even see it. And I'm proud of it. Like, I made a really nice bracket that it, I didn't have to drill another hole. And if I want to do a future mod with the radiator or something, or I need space, it won't be in the way. So, yeah. Uh, hella horn. Ugh. Hell with it. What else? Uh, oh, yeah, I tinted my windows. Uh, I didn't even, I glossed over that. Um, get it? Because the video has a lot of gloss. But yeah, no, I got tint on my windows. I didn't do the front, I just did the, uh, the, um, like, of course, the front, the back, and the back back. The back windshield, too. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy I did it. I've never had tint on a car before. First time. And I like it.
Uh, I'm also gonna add the, uh, they make an anti-glare, it's like a blue, uh, anti-reflect, sorry, glare, anti-glare film that goes on the side mirrors that I'm gonna do, uh, here soon. Because when I'm driving at night, I get a lot of glare from my side mirrors and my rear view mirror too. It's just, it's too much. So I'm gonna try it and see what, what I think about it. Um, I, you know, I told you I was gonna do the mud guards or whatever, you know, those. And then probably a downpipe and a tune are gonna be my two first major modifications to the car. I mean, not that this other stuff is, hasn't been major because it's been... Oh, oh yeah, I also have the the Auto Start IMT, which by the way is the greatest thing that's ever happened to a manual transmission. Uh, so, and now, so when I turn the car on, it just, it automatically comes on. It's 99% reliable. There are some times where if I turn the car on, I turn it off and turn it right back on, it won't work. Uh, and I've got to push the button to turn it on whatever I don't care about that too much really it's not that it, I mean as long as it works most of the time that's the main thing um, I don't know what else to I've got I'm not gonna I'm not so uh, I, I, I am one of the original complainers about the armrest and the car not having one but you know what I don't actually care that it doesn't have one I've I, I, when I sit in the car, it's like, I don't even know that I don't have this tendency. I want to like, lean, I thought I might, but I don't to lean over on one, but I, I don't care that it's missing. Uh, I'm also going to do the, they make a, a kick door, uh, guard that I'm going to get. A lot of people didn't like the, the, the stock sound like this the sound the sound quality is super it's crisp i mean it's clean uh, i find that you really got to crank it to hear it but once it's i mean once you got it cranked the bass is really good i don't see why you'd need to add a subwoofer this thing is just i mean that in the combination between uh, first and second gear and you get those deep tones it's pretty neat um but I, I don't see a need for a subwoofer. I, I, I used to I run two 12s in my, you know, with a, with a 980 watt amp in my in my Volkswagen. I, I, then I, I even I, I once those eventually end of life the voice coils burned up. I replaced it with a um, a 15 uh, inch sub, a square a square wave with basically the squeak something different pretty much sounded a little I mean it was hard to tell which one was louder but it was it was great don't get me wrong I, I, I it's not that I don't like having an, an excessive amount of sub in a, in a car but I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna do one uh, but yeah that's about it I'm gonna do interior lighting next I'm pretty sure um, uh, th that's it for now you guys uh, <laughs> I hope you like it as much as I do um, stay tuned I'm gonna get a DJI I'm gonna get their new their new mic too so the audio in my future videos will be, will be a lot better I'm gonna I'm getting back into making videos again I've been off the grid for a while. So yeah, um, that's uh, something to look forward to. So stay safe out there. Respect others on the road. And uh, yeah. I don't know how to end this video. This is gonna be difficult. Uh, Stay enthusiastic about something. <laughs> Bye.